Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, given w1 is equal to 3 plus j4 and w2 is equal to 2 e power j5 over 4. The first question is asking, express w1 in standard folder form. Okay, w1 is equal to 3 plus j4 and here we know this 3 is the real part and 4 is the imaginary part and if we draw this one in a graph it's going to look like this. We know that x is the real part and y axis is the imaginary part. In the x axis we are going to have 3 and in the y axis we are going to have 4 and the imaginary number is going to be somewhere right here. So we have to find out the distance from here to here and also we have to find out the angle. So these are the two things we need to know in order to express this one in a polar form. Now to find the distance we can use the Pythagorean theorem. 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9, so 16 plus 9 that's going to be 25. Square root of 25 is going to be 5, so r is going to be 5. And then to find the angle we can use the tan theta. Tan theta is going to be what opposite over hypotenuse. If this is theta, actually opposite over adjacent. Opposite is going to be 4 divided by 5 and theta is going to be tan inverse of that tan inverse 4 over 5 and if you calculate the angle you are going to get 0 0.295 phi radians so this is our angle now we have the distance and also the angle so we can express the complex number in this way w1 is equal to 5 e power j 0 0.295 phi and that's going to be the answer for the first question now let's look at the second question express w2 in standard rectangular form so here we have to do the opposite thing for this one let's get rid of this graph for this one okay this is our b part right this is our b part and for this one we have w2 is equal to 2 e power j phi over 4 here we have the r value that is equal to 2 and also we have the angle that is equal to 5 over 4. So whenever we have in this kind of format, we can use Euler's identity to expand this one. Like Euler's identity says that if you have this format, this can be written as w2 is equal to r times, in our case r is equal to 2. So 2 and then cos phi over 4 plus j sin phi over 4 so 2 cos phi over 4 is what 1 over root 4, phi over 4 is 1 over root 2 plus j sin phi over 4 that's also 1 over root 2 and if we multiply these two by 2 this is going to become 2 over root 2 and here we are going to have j 2 over root 2 and this is going to be the rectangular form of the given complex number. So this is going to be our final answer. So this is the answer for B part. Now let's look at the C part. Let's get rid of this one. Okay. C part. Determine W1 square and W2 square. So magnitude square. So W1 magnitude is going to be what? Here we have the imaginary and the real part. So let's copy the W1 first. W1 is equal to 3 plus J4. So W1 magnitude is going to be 3 square plus 4 square square root. And that's going to be 25. That's equal to 5. So W, but the question is asking for W1 square. So W1 magnitude we found out that is equal to 5. So W1 magnitude square is going to be 25. So that's going to be the answer for the first one. Now let's look at the W2 square. Let's get rid of this one. W2 square same thing. W2 is equal to 2 e power j phi over 4. Right. So here we had to. Okay. R is equal to 2. So W2, this R is the magnitude. W2 is equal to 2. So W2 square is equal to 2 square. That's equal to 4, right? W2 magnitude square is going to be 4. 
So whenever we have the rectangular form, we have to square root and square both numbers. But when we have this one in polar form, we just have to pick up the r value and square like r value is going to be the w2 magnitude. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.